Um, another question that came in, uh, how do you encourage people to become a fan or like you on Facebook? I always feel like I'm getting them to make an effort to benefit me and they seem to not care about getting more notices no matter how helpful they might be. So um, how about we take it for, from, from your side? Um, how do you encourage people to, to, to get to be a fan or like you on, on your social network? I would say it's all about cross-promotion. Um, you probably already have forms of communication with people, and I'm sure we've all seen the little F um, emblem. People know what that is. You can put it um, in your emails um, if you have email blasts. That's been really um, help helpful for us, kind of like e-newsletters that we try to send out every few weeks. You know, put a link, and we can actually see through the, through the statistics how many people have clicked on that. Um, that's been really helpful. I mean, if you just kind of do it in your advertising, put the little F. It doesn't have to take up the whole thing, but just letting people know that you have that presence. Um, I also think this may be kind of productive, but um, people will seek you out. Um, as far as directly driving people to your page, besides linking there, having other people link specifically to your page, um, people really have to be seeking what you're, what you're doing for your service. say is the best way to get fans is to write something interesting that they're interested in hearing about. Um, and you were touching on a little bit about your messages, maybe one in 10 should have something to do with buying something from you or any sort of sales pitch. Everything else, in my opinion, needs to be about, you know, what's going on? Give them pictures. What are you doing today? We want to talk to you. Look at this interesting thing that Find out, first off, who is your market? Like, who is your client? What do they care about? And then come from that angle and speak to them about things that, that you're doing that they would be interested in. And if you give them things that are interesting, they're going to want to follow you. Um, so that's, I would say, I think, be interesting. I think that's a good Give something uh, valuable. One out of 10 is a, a nice ratio to have. I mean, this is actually the mid advertising page. Um, and that we do not make deviled eggs for a living. But recently, we had a deviled egg cook-off, and um, we put it on our site, and here's somebody who is a senior art director, so a possible employee who found us, I don't even know this person, but I, they must know somebody who knows somebody. And you know, she says, I wish I lived closer to you and we, that you were hiring our senior art directors. I make kick-ass deviled eggs. So again, it costs us nothing <laughs> to put this post up, and yet we have a connection to somebody who could be an employee, so we could reach out to her, and we have already. Um, where do you live? It's maybe it's not too far. Let's see your portfolio. And I can't tell you the number of, of comments that I got when I linked to this. I, I got more than uh, I could possibly imagine about eggs. And everyone's thinking that you know they could win, too. I will say I won in the uh, exotic category. I made curry eggs with uh, um, a little bit of uh, chutney on the top. So I can share that recipe with you. You can just contact uh, proponent. Put it on Facebook. <laughs> I could put it. Uh, we will put it on Facebook, the winning recipe. Um, does anyone else have any Yeah, questions? one thing I was going to add, and, and we're kind of the, the early adopters of stuff, but uh, you know, in the early days of Facebook, you had to you know, tell people on Facebook and they would, you know, to get you joined. Now it's kind of default. You know, it's kind of like if you've got a business, you've got a web page. If you've got a web page, you got to have, you know, a domain register. I mean, you just expect that if you're going to play in this venue of, and you want to connect with people, you got to have a Facebook page. And now, you know, but two years ago, you were really trying to get people to join the page, but now people will seek you out. And it's important that, you know, here's, an, you know, it's, it's, it's tough when you're a small business because here's another thing that you've got to keep up to date. You can't just say, you know, I've got a web page, I've got Facebook, and then walk away for six months. I mean, it's, it just, but it's another venue, and then you'll find out you've got some customers that don't like Facebook, they like your web page, or they like, you know, it's, everybody's got different ways they like to communicate, but, you know, we see Facebook as a, a default now, I mean, you, you've got to play in that arena, because there's going to be, and again, it's interesting when you deal with, with customers on a regular basis, I have some customers, if I want to connect with them, the best way to do it um, is through Facebook, that's where they check their messages. You know, I don't send them an email, I don't give them a call, but they're always on Facebook. But then I have other people, you know, I gotta give them a call, or whatever. So, but it's just a area that 
if you're going to be in this arena, you just got to be out there. I think you said something good, too, that these things don't exist in a vacuum, and you hinted at this. It's, if in your newsletter or your emails that you're sending out, you have that little Facebook bug, you know, the, the icon, and they can click through to a link, it has to be part of everything. For a lot of our clients, we have it in the print ads. Um, and, you know, whether or not they, they do it that day or not, at least they know you're there. If they have to get you, they can get you. I just want to tell you, because um, I know you're into organic cotton, so this is just showing in real time in Twitter, I just put organic cotton up, and we can scroll and scroll and scroll. And it might not be about your company or your brand, but it's what people are saying about organic cotton out there. And I, I just want to show that in real time. How that, that can happen. I agree. <clears throat> it is a part of the mix. It's a part of the big mix. You, you really can't just zero in on that one element, because everybody reads from different angles. And you know, some people are going to read your email. Some people are going to read that printed piece you sent them. They're going to read it, follow you on Twitter, wherever they're getting your information from. You really, in today's marketplace, have to be in front of somebody on some level. And, and also to, to support what she said about you know, having, having value, value in your content. And Al showed us, why do you think Mom's Diner all of a sudden now is on Facebook? With one level up from a handwritten note on the cash register. Because she is reaching, Mom's reaching, a whole other aspect of the demographic to come to that restaurant. There's going to be some information that she's going to put there that's going to be of value to the customer. And that's, it goes beyond, you know, mom probably did a great business for years by one person standing next to you, you need to go down to mom and check out that, you know, sausage biscuit sandwich. That's the best. But maybe she started seeing things dip a little bit. And we get that all the time too, guys. Local restaurants and here in town. I, I'm not reaching those Elon college students. Well, where's your fan page? That's where they're at. Or I'm not reaching this certain level of a business professional. Well, I mean, you're getting something in your hand or visually in front of them? No. So you have to you have to really incorporate it into the big picture, and then but always be on top of it and always be keeping it up to date and supporting it. 